shack. A bit morbid, but it's got started. So, James, are you spending your retirement brooding over the past? Not at all. I have a whole new life now. That whole thing is behind me. Really? I heard you were continuing to investigate. And as far as I know, your social schedule is not what you call busy. Don't start with me, Vic. Whose fault is it that I'm where I am? You betrayed me. Some learn from their mistakes, James. Doesn't look like that's the case with you. I admit, I made a mistake. I shouldn't have pulled the trigger. But I did it to further the investigation. You sabotaged that by denouncing me. You know perfectly well that I wasn't the one who squealed to internal affairs. If I had, you would have been up for murder charges. All I did was refuse to cover up for you. You went too far, goddammit. Here, I'll profile you. You are egocentric, irresponsible, selfish, and paranoid. And you are anal, rigid, authoritarian. And you've got the biggest mouth I've ever had the displeasure to encounter. I can say the same about you. Good, I'm kissing me good. Can we talk? Listen, James, let's stop blowing on the past. The killer is still out there, and this is our last chance of getting him as a team. Can we bury the hatchet? Paloma Hernandez may still be alive. She's counting on us. Fine. You can't change what's happened anyway. So, this house is supposedly connected to the killer. I'm not surprised. It fits what I've been able to uncover. An isolated area far from the big urban centers. But it means the killer's got to travel to go hunting. I've made a major breakthrough on the killer's psyche. He's totally obsessed with film and cinema, and particularly with the actress Veronica Lake. You can see it in his videos convinced that he chooses his victims following criteria linked to his obsession. There's evidence in the house that suggests the killer went to film school. That would confirm your hypothesis. It was by catching an old movie again that I made the connection. It has to do with very small background details. That's why we didn't see it before. Well, I have a name. Our suspect's name is supposedly David Carson. Claire's trying to dig up something about him. We'll end up getting him, Vic. After all this time, we're gonna get him. I'm at an impasse with the computer in the cellar. Can you give it a look? You've always been a bit of an IT guru. Okay, show me what the problem is. Let's see. Hmm. The system is well protected. It's impossible to enter without the password. Luckily, the killer is just crazy enough to use a significant password instead of choosing random characters. Uh, of course. Let's try this. Hmm. No, too simple. Veronica, maybe. No, it's not the right password. Yes. Have you found the password? Uncle Man. Veronica Lake's real name. The killer's obsessions are the key to his psyche. The contents of the computer are open to you. It's your turn to play now. this place yet.
Access control. Let's see what door I can open. If you want, we'll chat later. I'm taking notes. If this file contains the killer's bank account number, the Chicago office could perhaps buy a new coffee maker. Great. Zoe brought me her ball. Kit's computer key should let me decrypt this file. All right, baby, hold on. I hope this worked. We'll just have to see. Okay, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. I'm going to write that down. A list of first names, including mine and Hernandez's. These seem to be the victims' names, but the last names don't match. I bet this is somehow linked to the killer's obsessions. He must associate his victims with fictional characters. I'm not sure I understand. Helen Graham, Dolores Greaves, they're all roles played by Veronica Lake. In the list you're connected to, the Letty Stanton character. The name doesn't match at all. Different motive. He's after you because he wants to eliminate everyone on his tail. Prior to vanishing, maybe. If that's his plan, I don't have much time to stop him. I'll copy the list into my smartphone. I might need it later. Good. You do that. If you want, we'll chat later. I'm taking notes. Yeah. It's, it's really amateur stuff. I... I've printed out the console manual. Have a good read. We don't have to do it without video, but we should hear the sound broadcast by the surveillance mics.
take some time. Oh, there you are. What's this? There's a message scribbled on the newspaper. Who's next? Oh. Uh. Yeah, I don't care. I have to talk to you, Sheriff. There was a video where I could see Hernandez. She's not far, I'm sure of it. We have to get everything we can on the house. As soon as the land registry staff has something, they'll contact me. Have you found anything else on the Anderson case? No. I looked all over the place. I've even used the metal detector, but all I found was a badge under the floor in the entrance hall. Anderson must have explored the house to see if there was anything of value. As far as I recall, he was the curious type. If he ran into the killer, I'm afraid his curiosity might have cost him his life. I have a proposition for you, Agent McPherson. Help me with the Anderson case and I'll speed things up for you at the land registry. We might as well help each other, rather than trying to trip each other up, right? <laughs> You're a goddamn opportunist. Okay, deal. I found Anderson's blood on the balcony upstairs. It's probably several months old. Everything I've seen leads me to believe that our killer murdered Anderson. Sorry, Sheriff. Your county has lost a voter. Well, we know what happened to him. At least I can announce that the case is closed. Hold back your tears, you don't want to get dehydrated. You've kept your part of the bargain, Agent McPherson. Now it's my turn. Yes, it's Sheriff Holloway. I need some information on the house now. Yes, immediately. Are you sure? Okay, keep looking, and let me know if you find anything. Well, what do you got? They found something interesting. An anti-nuclear shelter was built under the house in the 50s. And where's the entrance to this shelter? They're looking for up-to-date maps. According to their records, two shafts with steel hatches were dug in the ground. Excellent. We're making progress. We just have to find the hatches. I have to talk to you, Sheriff. You mentioned a metal detector. Can I use it? Take the key to my car. The detector's in the trunk. Thanks, Sheriff. What wouldn't I do to stay in the FBI's good graces? Did you actually give it to me? Oh, okay. Stupid bitch.
Half the floorboards are pulled out. I wonder how this works. There's an instruction manual in the memory. I better look at it. Discrimination allows separating ferrous metals, iron, steel, cast iron from non-ferrous metals, aluminum, copper, zinc, silver. Sensitivity. Control the detector's sensitive sensitivity to object size. Setting one, discrimination on, and maximum sensitivity. Detection of small non-ferrous metal objects. Setting 2. Discrimination on and minimum sensitivity. Detection of large non-ferrous metal objects. Setting 3. Discrimination off and minimum sensitivity. Yada yada yada. Uh, to analyze the detected area, select the metal detector in the inventory and use it on the area indicated by the cursor. Okay, we probably want discrimination on since I'm sure that the tunnel is, is steel or iron. So let's go check it out. Okay, what setting do we want? Uh, two. And let's see what we can find. Probably in the backyard. Large plate made of solid copper. Ah uh ha! -huh. Well, then dig it up. Come on, get that shit going. The gate and the railings contain metal. Well, surprise! It's not this. Wait, what was that? No effect. Bad idea. Okay. Bad idea. Ugh. What the fuck? No effect. What is that? An old can. Oh. Come on, I know there was something over here. There we go. 
Pick up the fucking thing. Jesus. A handful of rusty nails. It'll never work. It'll never work. This can't possibly work. Is that it? Handful of rusty nails. I guess so. All right, then I guess let's go to the back. Looks like the handle of some kind of iron tool. It's very deep. Must have been here for a long time. Bad idea. few pennies. I should invest. I'm detecting an aluminum ring. Looks like a grenade pin. Small silver spoon is buried here. <laughs> Some poor rich kid out there is going without. <laughs> the bunker to this. Come on now. An aluminum can full of leaves and twigs. shouldn't react to an aluminum can. It 
It's impossible to open. So great is setting off the detector. Imagine that. It's detecting the fence and the railings, of course. This can't possibly work. Let's go see if our ex-partner can help us. we can do a search on that computer. in timeout if you want we'll chat later I'm taking notes by osmosis This one? Oh. I don't just quit. Try the next one. Good lord, woman. That's it. The anti nuclear shelter is opened. Good, let's go.
Do you have something new? I've managed to open the shelter hatch. I'll go down and try to find Hernandez. I'm going with you. I'll call Garris for backup. She gonna die. <laughs> I was right. Why is there no blood there? Good job, Agent. <clears throat> Let me show you something. His last masterpiece. It's called... The Betrayal. 